Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing how I painted my window blinds. I am so pleased with them. I was just down there a minute ago but I've decided just to come up here and film because we've got homeschooling going on downstairs. So in my study, um, in the bay window, we have got three blinds um, and they were about 10 years old. When we bought them, they were cream, but over the years they had become patchy and faded and I was actually thinking about replacing them, but I decided to have a go at painting them. The blinds are made of MDF, but this method could be used on wooden blinds or faux wooden blinds. The first thing I did was take the blinds down and I laid them on the floor and you could see the difference in the colour with some of the slats now. I took off the bottom end caps just with a screwdriver and I pulled out the cord through the middle. Um, I could see that there was a small metal loop on it but I just cut this off. I then unstrung all of the blind slats. So I pulled out the middle cords on each side and then each slat sat in a ladder loop. So I just pulled out every one until I had the header and all the cords clear from the slats. I did take quite a few photos as I went along just to make sure that I'd be able to put it all back together again. The next step was to lightly sand the blind slats on both sides and I used 120 grit sandpaper. I then carefully cleaned them with a clean cloth to make sure that there was no dust on them. Next I set to work painting each slat. I chose a two inch brush which was slightly wider than the slats and it naturally caught the edges. The paint I used was brilliant. It was a Wilco chalky finished furniture paint in chalk white. I really liked this paint. It didn't need a primer and it was nice and thick, so I only needed to do one coat on each side. I think if you had plain wooden slats or faux wooden slats, you may need to use a primer. So as I said, I only needed to do one coat it dried really quickly and I was really happy with the colour. So one tin of this paint, which was only 750 millilitres, lasted for all three blinds and I still got some left over. I had a conveyor belt going in the kitchen so I was constantly painting slats, but it was worth it. I also decided to clean the blind cords as they were looking a bit dingy. So I got some plastic bags and poured some hot water into them and added about half the amount again of bleach and popped the cords in. I still had it attached to the header. I left them for at least a couple of hours and they came out bright white again. I took down all the blind fixings and I sprayed them with white paint. I also painted the wooden cord pulls and I carefully chalk painted the header bar so that everything was white. Normally you use a wax on top of chalk paint, but I had a practice with one of the slats and it just looked really patchy. So instead I decided to use a Plasticoat clear sealant spray in satin. The sealant spray was really easy to use. It dried really quickly and once it's dry, I can easily wipe them clean. So that's going to be brilliant when I need to clean my blinds in the future. The next step was to restring the blind slats. So each one had to be threaded onto each ladder and then the middle cord is threaded through each slat. This obviously took quite a while to put all the blinds back together. Thank you. 
at the bottom of each blind I needed to make a loop so I threaded it through the end cap and then I tied a perfection loop at the end. This is a kind of loop that's used in fishing and I found out how to do this by watching another very useful YouTube video. Once I had made the loop, I could put the end caps back on. Next, I mounted the blinds back on their fittings and I adjusted the slats to straighten them up. I also made sure that the tilt and the pull mechanism were all working properly. This project took me a couple of weeks to do whilst also working and homeschooling, but it was completely worth it. I've now got what looks like brand new white blinds for the cost of the paint and the sealant spray, which together was under £20. My blinds look so clean and fresh now. If you are wondering about painting your blinds and you're hesitating, then my advice is to go for it. My blinds turned out so well. I'm so pleased that we went ahead and did this project. Thank you for watching. If you do decide to go ahead and paint your blinds, then leave me a comment and let me know. If you're new here, then it would be great if you could consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.